Please watch the video in high quality. In this video, we will learn how to draw lines with mouse clicks in Unity. We will also learn how to create a new line and change its color if needed, and also its thickness as well, like so. I'll start by selecting the main camera and make sure to change its projection to uh, orthographic. And then I'll create a new empty game object. We'll call it lines. And under my assets folder, I'll create a new folder. Right click, create folder, call it scripts. And inside that folder, I'll create a new C sharp file. We'll call it draw lines. And then once that file is created, I will drag it and drop it to the new empty game object, which we call it lines. So I'll drag this and we'll click on the new game object just to make sure that the new script is there. I'll double click on the script to open it in uh, 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 my Visual Studio. So inside the newly created script called Draw Lines, I added a number of lines that I will go through them one by one. So I created uh, four public variables. One is the camera, uh, which we will assign later. We don't need to assign it in the editor, but it's possible to. And then a color that uh, we need uh, or we could assign to the lines. And also the start and end width of the line. Uh, the default value is 0.1. And then uh, a number of private uh, variables, the threshold uh, of which uh, when a person is moving the mouse, we'll see later, if the mouse movement between the, uh, the last point and the new point, if it's more than this threshold, then the line will be drawn, otherwise it won't. And then uh, the, uh, the, the, the points, uh, world positions of the lines, and also uh, the line render, we, which we it's a component that, uh, a default component available with Unity that will allow us to uh, create lines or draw lines. And the number of the uh, or the count of the points, we'll, we'll, we'll use that uh, soon. And uh, a Boolean variable to check if it's a, if it's a new line being uh, just been created. And the end uh, of the, the world position of the end point, uh, which is by default, we set it to the highest va available value, float available value by using the float max value. In the start method, we uh, assign the current uh, camera to be the main camera, which is the only camera I'm using. And then we created a new uh, variable of type line renderer, and that's the component that allow us to draw lines. And we added this component to the current game object. And then uh, we uh, assigned the materials for the line renderer, which in this case, I picked the sprites, the default one. And then the start width uh, to zero and the end width to zero so that at the beginning, before we draw any lines, we don't see any lines on the screen. And then uh, the, the sorting order, I set it to one so that the line would be visible in case there are other elements on the screen. And uh, uh, there is a line renders array uh, which we uh, set here of type line renderer because we are each line renderer can draw one line only and if we need to draw multiple lines like in this case so our, I added an, a list of line renderers each one would be able to draw one line and thus uh, enable us to draw multiple lines uh, in the run. In the update method, I will check if the user uh, click uh, the, the left uh, mouse click button 
and then if the user does that uh, then I will get the mouse uh, uh, pixel position using the input mouse position and then we'll set the Z coordinate to the near clip plane of the current camera and then uh, we'll get the mouse, uh, the world position of the mouse pixel position using the screen to world point uh, method. And then we'll get the distance between this world position to the last uh, or, the, or, or the end world position, which in this case we set to the highest to begin with, but we'll change that later. So, and then we'll check if the distance is more than the threshold we uh, set here, then we can do, uh, if it's less, then nothing will happen, we'll just return. But if it's more, we'll continue. So the end world position will be assigned to the recent world position that we just calculated. And then uh, the line bond world position, which is a list of the points, and we just add this uh, recent world position we added. And then we call the add line uh, method. Uh, the add line method, what it does is uh, because we have a list of line renderer, so it calls the, the last uh, element or line render in that list using dot count minus one and then assign its material and uh, 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 color to it and that would be the public variable line color so the user would have the choice to choose the color in the editor and then it's also set the start width and the end width and they are also public uh, uh, variables that the user could set and also it set the uh, position count uh, which is uh, uh, the, 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 the size of the array of the, uh, the, the line world position counts which we, uh, which we set here or added the point to here that we recorded through the mouse left click. Okay, and uh, then we, we will loop through the uh, line points or the positions of the points within the line, starting with the most recent point, like after the most recent point, because there's no point of drawing the line over and over. So we already did it, this through update. Every time uh, a user click, uh, left click, uh, whatever uh, points, are there, they are stay as they are. We just start from the new point onward as many point and that we keep an update uh, of uh, the, the value of that point count in here after each time we call add to line. So what will happen here, we set the position, we, we go to the, the last line renderer uh, within the list of line renderers and set its position using the I iterator, which we just explained here. And then we uh, will set the point counts, we increase it uh, or to, to be equal to the line points uh, count we set earlier here. And then we set the value of is a new line to false. We're gonna use the value later in the start new line method. The next thing we check in within the update is to check for the right click. And if it's right click, then we call the start a new line uh, method here, which first is check if is new line is triggered or if, if it's false uh, because that will uh, allow us so every time the user click right click if we don't have that condition then every time a new object would be created so that's just checking if the new uh, uh, if if there is something being drawn then a new line would be showing otherwise you don't need to we don't need to create a new object without something being drawn and then uh, similarly it will uh, uh, create a new list for the line point world position which means it's clear any uh, the, the list that previously been created 
it's set it to zero and then set the we set the point counts also to zero and create a new game object to which we will uh, add a component of line renderer and we call that a new line renderer and then we add the new line renderer to uh, the the line renderers list later but before that we set its material and its sorting and its start with and end with to zero so it's nothing visible before we drawing as we've done in uh, the add to line uh, method and then we set is new line to true and that's about it so if we save and then uh, go to uh, our uh, editor here I could select the line and set uh, a default value for it maybe we select it as red and make sure that transparency is full and if I hit play I'll click here, 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 and that's a new line. If I want to start a new line, I just right click and that will start a new line. And I could change the uh, color and also the thickness like so. And that's it. Thank you. Please like, subscribe and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this.